Thanks for tuning in to Piercing Darkness Show. This is I want to thank God for this day he has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. The best is yet to come and nothing is impossible with the Lord. You know, I want to show you the power of God recently in our meetings. And also I'm going to also uh, show you a message I preached recently to boost your faith. Whatever you're going through, believe God to move in your life. This show is about showing you the power of God and, and giving you hope through the preaching of the gospel. Then know that God can handle anything you're going through. Believe God for your miracle. The best is yet to come. If you want to partner with the ministry, please go to our website, pyevangelism.net. Sow your seed into our ministry to help us take the gospel of the Lord. So I'm going to be in Aiken. I'm going to be in Augusta for the gospel. And God bless you for sowing seed and praying for us as we take the gospel to the lost. And God's going to bless you. Our website is on your screen. And also you can uh, write us information is on your screen. So enjoy this broadcast. And I'll be back to pray with you at the end of the broadcast. I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means you to serve him to serve his interests to serve his purposes the mystery behind sickness financial hardships problems in marriage ministry strife is to serve the enemy serving the interests of the devil means you live in fear doubt disarray confusion you live in misery you live in state of depression witchcraft that's what is going on today in the land a lot of witchcraft is being released through television radio manipulations are being released through books like harry potter and other things that go on you have to understand that when people get exposure 
to weaker witchcraft. In America, it sounds like myth. It sounds like a game. But you have to understand, I come from Africa, so I know when a witch says they're going to kill you, it's not a joke. They mean it. And you cannot sue them. Where are you going to sue them? Nowhere. But there is something about what Goliath said to these people of Israel that put them to a state of shock and not wanting to fight. They were so paranoid. But there was a man that had a revelation of who God is. And his name is David. What made a difference between David and the people of Israel was that the oil came on him. When Samuel came to anoint the sons of Jesse, it came on David. So when he walked to bring food to his brothers and he had the giant tongue, the anointing was stirred up within him to face the giant. Your giant only has a voice as long as the anointing in your life has been put to sleep. Once that anointing wakes up, the giant will be silenced. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why God brought you here to silence those giants in your life. Tonight, before you leave this place, that giant that has been trying to torment you, torment your children, torment your finances, torment your family, is going to be put to flit. The interest of the devil is for you to turn your back on God and die. That's why Job was encouraged or oh, miss the enemy tried to mislead him through his wife telling him cast god and die because what he was going through no worship god and live if anything has told you god ain't gonna hear your prayer it's a liar god is gonna hear your prayer as you worship him you shall live as you praise him you shall overcome before i finish giants have a voice what gives them the voice is you allowing them to take position in your territory. Judah means praise. Why do the Philistines gather at shock which belongs to Judah? The enemy wants to take from you praise. When you allow him to take the praise that God has given to you, then he can speak to you. What the enemy will do is to try to distract you. If he can't stop you, he's going to try to distract you. When you're distracted, you make bad decisions. When you're distracted, you continue to procrastinate when it comes to things that have to do with God's instructions. We're gathered here in this facility, not just to witness the power of God, but to experience revelation of who Jesus is. The best way to learn is by experience. Experience is the best teacher. God has said in his word, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And he says in his word, the anointing destroys the yoke. The giant tormented them for many days. It says in verse 14, David was the youngest. And the three elders followed Saul. In verse 23, and he talked with them. Behold, there came up a champion, the Philistine of God, Goliath, while he was fellowshipping. Began to challenge them. In verse 25, and the man of Israel said, Have you seen this man that it came up, shall to defy Israel? Is he come up? It shall be that the man that killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches and give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spoke to the man that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth the Philistine and taketh away the reproach from Israel? Everybody said, All reproach. 
against me shall be removed tonight. Shout hallelujah. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? That devil, the witch, the wizard, the sickness, the disease brought reproach against you. But God is going to crush it by his glory and anointing upon your life. Tonight, he's going to turn it around in the name of Jesus. That's why I love to pray for the sick and the oppressed. Because I believe it's the plan of God for them to be free. The enemy is trying to bring reproach against you. So he can break your confidence. He wants to attack your children. He wants to attack your husband. He wants to attack your wife. He wants to attack your relationship with God. He wants to continue to be a destruction. The reason why Saul and the armies of Israel never wanted to fight against this Philistine because they saw the giant as a, as a hindrance, as somebody that was going to take them out. And nobody wanted to face him, not even the king. But the young man called David had a revelation about the glory, about God, about who God is. And he was ready to face the giant. You came here because you're going to face the giant. And the giant is going to be crushed. You see, in America, they don't believe in praying for the sick. Only few people believe in that. You turn on Christian television, all they do is talk, 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 talk. I want to see action. I want to see blind eyes open. I want to see creeper walk. I want to see the dead raised. I want to see transformation coming upon the people of God. Samosa, bring my, my organist, please. I give you praise. Say, the devil is a liar. Say one more time. Say it again. Say it again. Are you ready for this? Some missionaries came from America and they came to Africa and they see miracles. Africa said, well, miracles happen in the third world, not in the first world. The God of the third world is the God of the first world. Just the piano, you guys can re listen to this. <laughs> Say one more time, breathe upon me. <laughs> breathe. Say one more time, Lord Jesus, breathe. <laughs> That's all it takes when the Lord breathes on you, <laughs> it manifests. When the Lord breathes, <laughs> He just opened my eyes to see something. Ah, I gotta say it. Can you give me some organ there for a few seconds? Organ, organ for a second. The organ. Yeah. I give you praise. It's gonna be right here. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> when the prophet, when he came to pour the oil and didn't come out on the other boys, it came out on who? David. You know why? Because the Holy Spirit is precise. Power Evangelism Ministries Piercing Nugner's television show product offer of the week. Seven dynamic teachings, two dynamic worship CDs, two books, and also two Bible schools of ten CDs each. Though each bless your heart. The Bible school slaying the spirit of Leviathan exposing and destroying the spirit of Jezebel are each for a love donation of $50 or more to the ministry over 10 hours of dynamic teachings that will transform your life forever. The book, The Secret Place, and the book, I Visited Heaven and Hell for Two Hours After I Died, forwarded by Apostle Solly, each for a love donation of $10. All the teachings you see below, dreams and visions, spiritual warfare, total restoration, wealth transfer, getting ready, now is the time, and recovery, each one for a love donation of $10 or more to the ministry. Pressing in Worship Prophetic CD. Pressing in Sounds of the Glory Prophetic Worship CD. Each with dynamic songs taking you deep in the realms of God's glory as you worship God intimately in your prayer room, in your car, or wherever you may go. For a love donation of $10 or more to the ministry, call today and support 
as we continue to reach souls for Jesus. The number on the screen is 561-337-9018. 561-337-9018. Or you can write to us at Power Evangelism Ministries, P.O. Box 48927, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55448. That's P.O. Box 48927, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55448. Or go to our website, powerevangelism.net. <laughs> Verse 42, and when the Philistine looked about and saw David, it is, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and rudy, rudy and of fair cutness. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou cometh to me with stabs? And the Philistine cast David by his guards. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I'll give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the base of the field and then David said to the Philistine thou cometh to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel whom thou hast defied are you ready for this what David spoke is what you're going to speak say poverty sickness and disease you came against me with your with your high level sophisticated weapons but I come against you in the name of Jesus by the Spirit of God so when he released the sling Verse 46. This day will the Lord deliver thee unto my hand, and I'll smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I'll give the carcass of fowls of the air to the wild feeds, wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Are you are you ready for this? You came here to the crowd said to know that there is God. There is God in your life. There is God in your family. There is God in your ministry. There is God wherever you go. Shout hallelujah! Listen to this. When the giant defies the army of God, he's defying God. God will take him out. So after David killed him, he cut his head off. It was a cut head off. So break the soul tie. Break the connection. Break every attachment. If God sets you free, you're free indeed. Now I want to say this louder than me. Affliction shall not arise another day in my life. Shall Affliction shall not arise again. When you walk out of this door, you're going to have a testimony. When you walk out of this door, you're going to have a praise report. When you walk out of this door, you're going to have something to say about what God has done for you. Because the giant of death is going to leave. The giant of problems in your marriage is going to go. The giant of witchcraft is going to leave. Say witchcraft must leave if there is any witch that cursed you today the power of God is going to crush that altar I say if there is any witch that cursed you let me hear some symbols I wanted to shout the blood of you three times again again Again! Again! In your shoulder. How long has the pain been there? 
Quanto tempo você tem essa dor? Mais de dois anos. Agora, coloque a mão no meu ombro, right here. No ombro dele. No nome de Jesus, você fala. O meu ombro está livre. Eu acredito e eu recebo. Em Jesus name, uh, em nome de Jesus. Now watch this, Lord. I release. Lord, I e, release Senhor, libero life vida in na, é, no ombro dela. Toda a dor vai embora. Em nome de Jesus. Watch this. Watch this, the glory. Marquera saia lama. What? Your Spanish is from where? I'm Brazilian. I speak Portuguese. You speak Portuguese? Yes. That's amazing. I prophesy on Brazil. You're a point of contact. In the name of Jesus. God has anointed you. You're a dancer. You're also a prophet. You're, pro you're going to prophesy. Yes. In Portuguese. Não tem mais. Não tem mais. Pen go. Deus te vai tocar. He's gonna heal you. Te vas a sanar. He's gonna take the spell out of you. E te vai sacar todo lo malo de ti. A miracle. Un milagro. Is God's gift to you. Es un regalo de Dios para ti. He loves you. Él te ama. And he's gonna give you the gift. Y te va a dar regalo. Of healing. De sanidad. He's gonna take the pain out of you. Él va a sacar todo el dolor. You've been through a lot. Tú has pasado por mucho. A lot of rejection. Mucho rechaz te rechazaron. And people never even appreciated when you helped them. La gente nunca te ha apreciado cuando tú has hecho cosas buenas para ellos. I'm about to pray for you. Yo voy a orar por ti. God told me to prophesy. Dios me dijo que te prometí. To prophesy on you. So I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to declare this. Your life tu vida, tu vida. is going to be free. Va a ser libre. The back pain is going to be gone. Ya, tu dolor de se In va. the name of Jesus. En el de Jesús. After your back pain is gone, ya se va. God is going to release a financial breakthrough. Dios te va a liberar, ya. Within three months, Después de tres meses, ya. your Entre finances tres meses, are going to change. Tu va a cambiar. Totally. Totalmente. God's going to give you a financial breakthrough. Dios te va a ayudar financialmente. God's going to move in your situation. Dios va a mover en tu situación. I hear the word daughter. Escucho. And I hear again, daughter. Hija. And I hear the word daughter. Escucho la palabra daughter. hija. Hija. The favor of God is upon you. El favor de Dios está sobre ti. I lay hands on you. Cuando te tomo. The glory. La gloria de Dios. Yeah. She had a lot of pain in her back, but now she doesn't feel anything. She, <laughs> she had a lot of pain. Say, say, say one more time, please. Dile una vez más, por favor. I have a more. Say in Spanish, please. I like Spanish a lot. Tenía mucho dolor en la espalda, pero me muevo y ya no está. Se fue en el nombre de Jesús. She had a lot of pain in her back, and that's it. She doesn't feel anything. She had a lot of pain in her lower back, and she doesn't feel anything now. She had a lot of pain. She don't feel it no more. God has taken the pain out. God has taken the pain out. Say yeah! To God be the glory for His... So basically, um, we were in the trauma room. There was doctors everywhere, and then they put us in... Um, they put him up on the fifth floor of the Trojan Hospital. And she didn't tell you, they drove 120 miles an hour with her in there and she told him to slow down. And they, they said, we're trying to go save your son. Um, and they put us on the fifth floor and we hadn't slept and you know, and I remember that we were looking out at the city of Minneapolis and I was looking out the window and uh, distract my mind, I started doing ministry stuff, getting on the phone, calling people. I, I just want to take my mind off of it for a minute. and. Uh, a doctor came out, one of the ER surgeons, he's like, you know, I said, well, how's my son? And he, in a very stone cold voice, he's like, well, I was like, well, you know, we're believing to get out of here this week. You know, he's like, your son will be here weeks or months minimum, so don't even think about that. 
And I looked him in the eye, and I don't know where the boldness came from, but I said, I don't want to disrespect you. I thank you for taking care of my son, but I believe that my God and Jesus will heal him, and it will be sooner than that. And on day two, um, my wife, you know, she just had a baby. He was only 17 days old. He's just turned four months uh, this week. Um, and day two, uh, they don't let one of us stay in the room. Uh, we were staying in the Ronald McDonald house there because we had our four-year-old daughter, Esther Grace, with us, and she couldn't stay in the. They wouldn't let her be up there because there was too many sick kids in the PICU. Um, and so I was getting ready to leave, and another head doctor that night, about one in the morning, he says, well, I need you to sign this paper as the dad. And I said, well, what is this for? He said, well, we might have to do a blood transfusion. And I didn't want to make any irrational decisions, and I knew that didn't sound good. I said, look, I said, doctor, out of respect, I'm going to go lay down and, and, and rest and pray. My wife will be here till the nurse comes at and then if you need me, you can buzz me. I'm two floors down. I'll come up immediately, and we can talk and make a decision about my son before I do anything rationally. Um, but I f So at five, I couldn't sleep. I got my daughter to sleep. I couldn't go to bed, and I was tossing and turning. And uh, long story short, my wife was about to go lose her mind because we were worried about our son. Apostle had a vision. He was praying for my son, and he texted. He saw my son talking. And babies don't talk. When he saw his son talking, he said, he's going to be all right. That was day two, amen. And they started getting better and better. And they came around, and on the fifth day, which is, they said, he, they nicknamed him the Miracle Baby. And they released him on the fifth day down to the, down to the third floor with just a feeding tube and took, took him off life support. And the Apostle prophesied he'd be out of there in seven days. Amen. Give God praise. And on the seventh day, as we go back, the doctor came and says, your son can go home now and released us to go home on the seventh day, which is perfection in the Bible, the same thing the man of God prophesied and prayed, and our son's alive and well, and is going to serve the Lord. Amen. So if he can do it for my son, he can do it for you. Amen. Hallelujah. What's going on here? I'm out of time. We're going to end right there. I believe you enjoyed the show. But before you go, I want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus. Simply say to me, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. Remove my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I accept in my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. I am born again. If you receive Jesus in your heart, now you're born again. Keep the faith and stay faithful to the Lord is coming back soon. Remember to read your Bible. You can also follow us on Facebook and download the app called Periscope where you'll be able to stay connected with the teachings I do to help boost your faith. The best is yet to come. Come join us on our crusades. I'm going to be in Agasta. I'm also going to be in Aiken and um, several other crusades coming up. We've got a website to get more information about upcoming events. May God bless you, and I'll see you next week at the same time. Have a blessed day.